So today I have selected the topic profit and loss. So we will be solving some selected important questions from this topic profit and loss. So here is your first question. The first question is here on your board. What is the question? By selling 55 articles, a merchant gains the cost of 11 articles. His gain percentage is A, B, C, D. Four options are also given to you. You have to find out what is his gain percentage. By selling 55 articles, he gains the article of the cost of 11 articles. So that is his profit. So what is given? Let us take one article he sold for 1 rupee and he got it for 1 rupee. So 55 article, let us take, he take he purchased that 55 articles for 55 rupees. That is his cost price. So let us take, let CP is equal to rupees 55. What we do? We assume that he has taken, he has purchased 55 articles for 55 rupees. Each article 1 rupee. So 55 rupees he purchased the items. That is the cost price for him. So CP is equal to 55. While selling these items, he got some profit. What's the profit? The profit is the cost of 11 articles. So if one article is 1 rupee, if 55 articles are costing 55 rupees, then the cost of 11 articles will be 11 rupees. So cost of 11 articles is the profit cost of 11 articles is the profit so profit is equal to 11 rupees so profit is equal to rupees 11 that is the cost of 11 articles that is the cost of 11 articles now what we need to find out we need to find out what is the profit percentage so we have profit percentage is equal to profit by CP into 100 or this formula you cannot because they are very important and they won't change this formula will not change any type of question comes questions will change but the formula remains same so when we practice when we do this sample paper solutions what actually I want to tell you not all the important formula so that it will become easy for you to prepare for your competitive exams so profit percentage is what we want so profit we got 11 11 by CP we got 55 into 100 you can cut it 11 and 55 5 times 5 and 100 20 times so profit percentage will be equal to 20 percentage that is the answer accordingly from the given options you can find out which is the correct option and you can mark it okay so this type of questions are very very common from the topic profit and loss please note it so here is your next question so the next question is by selling an article for rupees 450, a person lost 20 percentage. In order to make a profit of 20 percentage, he must sell it for, options are also given to you. So by selling an article for 450, he got a loss, loss of 20 percentage. 450 is the selling price. When the article is sold for 450 rupees, he got a loss, a loss of 20, 20 percentage. But he want to make a profit. So if you want to make a profit of 20 percentage, what must be its selling price? An article when sold for 450 rupees, he got a loss, loss of 20 percentage. But he want to make a profit of 20 percentage. So what should be the selling price? That is what we want to find out. So you want to find out the selling price, you can find out the selling price only when you have the cost price. So first part, you will have to find out what is the cost price. Once you got the cost price, then you can find out what is the selling price. So according to the given information, according to the given question, let us find out what is CP. Here what is given first, we have selling price is given when he sold it for how much when he sold it for 450 rupees he got a loss of 20 percentage so loss percentage is given to you sp is given to you when loss percentage and sp are given we can find out cp 
using the formula Cp is equal to Sp into the formula to find out Cp. Sp into 100 divided by 100 minus loss percentage. So when we do it, we will get Cp is equal to Sp is 450 into 100 by 100 minus 20. 100 minus loss percentage. 100 minus 20 equal to 80. You can cut this 0 and 0. You can cut here 5 times, here 4 times. Then again you can cut it 2 times. Here you have 225. Okay, so even if you keep it like this, you can make it as 2 to 2 to 5 0 divided by 4. Directly multiplication if you don't cut it. Or further if you want to make it 2, you can make it as what? Uh, 1, 1, 2, 5 divided by 2. So this is a CP. Now what actually we want to make? We want to make a profit. A profit of how much? We want to make a profit of 20 percentage. Now we got CP also. CP is equal to what? This value let us take. Any one value. 2250 divided by 4 is a CP. What we need to find out? We need to find out the SP. We should sell it for what amount? So SP is equal to the formula is all this important formula you cannot very very important formula. SP is given by when you have CP and profit percentage SP is calculated by SP is equal to CP into 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100. Very important formula. So using this SP will be equal to what? SP equal to CP we got 2250 divided by 4 into 100 plus profit percentage 120 divided by 100. Cut zeros and you can cut this three times. So three, 225 into 3, it becomes 675. So we must sell it for 675 rupees. Then only he can make a profit of 20 percentage. Initially, when he sold it for 450, he got a loss of 20 percentage. But if he sell it for 675 rupees, he will get a profit of 20 percentage. So accordingly, you can mark the correct answer. Very important. So when you note it, not this important formula. Very, very important. Kindly note it. So here is your next question. A very simple question. Two successive discounts of 10% and 5% are equal to a single discount of four options are also given. 10 percentage and 5 percentage two successive discount first you will give 10 percentage discount then 5 percentage discount what will be the total discount directly 10 plus 5 equal to 15 we cannot add why because suppose the original cost is 100 rupees suppose the original cost is 100 rupees now when you give a 10 percent discount so after 10 percent discount after 10 percentage discount, this will become 90. 100 minus 10, 90. Now, you are giving a 5 percentage discount on 90, not on 100. So, 5 percentage of 90 is equal to 4.5. So, 4.5 when you subtract from here, the new cost will come but The new cost will be equal to uh, 90 minus 4.5, 85.5. So, the item or the article which is originally cost 100 rupees after 10 percentage and 5 percentage discount, it becomes 85.5. So, what is the difference 100 minus 85.5? 100 minus 85.5 is equal to 14.5. That is 14 and half percentage. That is the total discount. So, whenever two successive discounts are given, on any article when an article is sold initially you are giving a 10 percentage discount and then you are giving a 5 percentage discount total 10 plus 5 equal to 15 will be a wrong answer we have to calculate the 5 percentage on 90 so the successive uh, discounts are not taken as the sum of the discount we have to calculate it separately
so we have a shortcut method also for this we'll be discussing all the shortcut methods in the next video so this way you can calculate and you can find out the uh, correct option in the next video we are planning to uh, do all the mathematical shortcut methods exclusive video for shortcut methods okay so don't forget to watch that video that will definitely help you and part number one two three four and five or sample paper solutions are given in the descriptions you can watch that also those who have not completed part number one to five complete that first and then come to this part number six so in the next video we'll be continuing with the part number seven eight like that so your exams are uh, nearing their upcoming exams will be there in the month of uh, november december so before that we will have to complete all the sample paper solutions and if you want to download the materials or extra sample papers you can uh, go to myexamcoaching.com and you can download the sample papers also okay so we'll meet in the next video take care bye bye